Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Welcome to today's episode and let's start straight with the Bitcoin TA and let's start here in the one hour time frame. If you were watching my yesterday's late stream then you would have known that after this dump that we had yesterday I mentioned that we could see a potential breeder to retest here the new resistance and this is what happened tonight. So tonight we came up here towards 9150 and currently we are having this confirmation that the previous support is now resistance. So for the short term I'm expecting here to see some further downside movements and I'm also think about to open up a possible little short position over here on a bit yard. Here usually I'm trying to do short time trades with 20x or more leverage. On a Bybit I usually do longer term trades only up to 5 or 10x leverage. And by the way if you need an account you can find the link down below here in the video description if you need to open up an account on Bybit or Bityard. It helps the channel and you can get also some sign up bonuses. So here in the one hour currently Bitcoin is having this uh, little breather here to the upside but you can see that the 20 moving average and the 200 is giving us resistance so far. Also here the RSI successfully bounced from oversold and now we are getting here in troubles at the 50 level in the RSI. Stochastic is already overbought so I'm thinking about already now to potentially open up a little short position but the problem is that today is Friday so today we're gonna close the markets the traditional markets also the CMEs we're gonna close in Bitcoin so I prefer to wait and see where we're gonna trade on the weekend if we're gonna have a big pump during the weekend and create a new future gap to the upside then I think about then to open a possible short position because it is very likely that then we will eventually trade to the downside and then close the new CME gap and the same thing if we're gonna have a bigger drop during the weekend I maybe think about to open up a little long position just in case that we really just go up to fill the gap again like we often do after a weekend. So most likely I'm just gonna wait till Monday to see if we're gonna create a new CME gap or not but I'm still a bit more bearish here especially in the shorter time frames in the bigger time frames I'm still very bullish but here it looks like that we definitely shifted towards uh, this potential $8,000 area. So I still think to open up shorts currently or taking out a little bit of profits, it's not a bad idea. But since I already took out the profits at around 9,600 to 9,800, where I also told you in many, many videos that it is very wise also sometimes to take a little bit of profits out just to be ready in case that we're dropping to buy back in a little bit cheaper and multiply your Bitcoins uh, like that. Of course, you can also just trade it with a long or a short, but I combine both things, both trading methods, uh, so I will be doing fine for the long term. So taking out always a little bit of profits, never be too greedy is always a good idea. All right, so here in the one hour, you can see that we could be in here for a potential 9K and lower target. The target is down here at around 8,600, same like yesterday. I still think we could reach that level unless that this here, this 8,940 was the bottom and now we are again shifted towards the main resistance of around $9,500 and then potentially create a support above it. Only if you are able to do like that, so to trade again towards $9,500 and create a support above it, then I think we could be in again for a bullish move to the upside to test again $10,500. Because in that case, we would have now created a higher low, which is very bullish, but in case that we're gonna take out this low over here 8950 I think most likely also this one over here at $8,830 uh, we're gonna take out and then potentially reach our first target of $8,600 the last targets that I have for a potential bigger drop is $6,400 but on the way there we're gonna have some more support levels like the 200 daily moving average at around $8,300 and also $7,200 where in the past we had a lot of support and resistance so it doesn't mean that we have to crash immediately down to 6,400. On the way down there, we're gonna have several support levels where most likely Bitcoin is going to bounce. And then it is very important that you're not gonna FOMO in or start to open up like over leveraged longs or anything like that. Because 
we are technically then on the bearish side so then you should sell the rallies and not try to find the bottoms because most likely we're gonna start to trade somewhere around there between eight thousand to six thousand four hundred dollar before eventually we're gonna have a big trend reversal and then start to trade again towards ten thousand dollar but this is only if really we are going to lose here these supports that we have here at around eight thousand seven hundred to eight thousand six hundred dollars so if we're gonna take out these lows here i think it is almost guaranteed that we will also go towards the 200 daily moving average and also drop lower so let's have also a look here in the Bollinger Band in the one hour because currently we're trading right in the middle area MACD shifted to the upside so it looks like that here we could easily go up to test this $9,150 again because we have the MACD now on the bullish side and also we're trading here again on the top of the Bollinger Band so it is very likely that we have a final move here to retest 9150 and then we have to see if we can break it and start to build up support above it or not because if not then most likely we're gonna start to trade again towards 9k and potentially on the next move we're gonna lose this support down here this is at least what I think and that's why I'm now a bit more focusing in open up a little short position just to write it down and take a little bit of profits on the way down but the big stack, the big trade I'm gonna do once we're gonna reach our bearish targets if we're really going that low because in those price levels I want to buy back in all in Bitcoin and also start to scale in big long positions over on Bybit. And now let's go over to the four hour time frame because here you can also see that currently the 20 and 50 moving average here are a very strong resistance here at 9140. So as long as we are not able to close four hour candles above this moving average, I think uh, we are definitely are shifted to the downside and we have now enough of confirmations currently in many time frames that we could be in here for some more moves to the downside. RSI is also right at the 50 coming from oversold so currently we are also getting rejected here in the 50 level. Stochastic now is still oversold so let's see if here maybe we can push through and in that case the target would be again up here at the previous uh, resistance of around $9,400. I don't think that we will go immediately up there to break it but it is possible that we're gonna see a big um, move to the upside to test again this area up here where also the 200 moving average is lining up in the four hour time frame. And if we open up the Bollinger Band in the four hour here, you can see that we are still trading in the lower part. Uh, the first midline here at 9,120 is giving us resistance. So as long as we cannot close four hour candles above this price level, even better above 9,150, we are trading here between this range where we are right now and here the bottom of $9,000. But as I told you, I think if we are going again towards 9,000, we most likely also gonna break through here and start to trade below 9K. And in that case, I would target around 8,600 to 8,700. I know some of you yesterday took this short and you wanted to write it down. But as I told you, always put a stop loss so you can always get out with uh, profits. And um, basically now you can all, almost do the same uh, trade again if we're going to get rejected here and we're not able to close for our candles above 9150. MACD is also still shifted to the downside so here it looks like that Bitcoin after this little breather here is going to continue this downwards uh, movement at least in my opinion. But the problem is since we are on Friday currently it looks like that maybe we're going to see a bigger move during the weekend and maybe not today. Because also tomorrow is the 4th of July, so in the US it's a holiday. I think even today it's a holiday. The S&P 500 um, is not trading today. Uh, only the mini futures and the mini futures are still pumping. We had also yesterday a nice a pump here. We broke a significant resistance line here and we had a top of 3155 and Bitcoin did exactly the opposite. So it looks like that Bitcoin is starting to decouple, which is a good thing or Bitcoin is just going to lag behind the S&P 500 and we're going to see a massive move to the upside pretty soon. That is also very possible. So that's why shorting right now it's maybe not a bad idea but of course it's not nothing is guaranteed. So if Bitcoin is just lagging behind the S&P then this could mean that we're also going to see on Bitcoin here very soon a big move to the upside even here in the lower time frames. And now let's go over to the daily. 
because here as long as we're trading uh, uh, below the 20 daily moving average which currently is at 9260 we are technically uh, now bearish because uh, we are trading below this important moving average and since we already tested it and got rejected here i think it is very likely that we could see a potential bigger move to the downside to test here the bottom of 8600 dollar or even go lower towards the 200 daily moving average which currently is at 8400 dollar and this is also my first target in case of a bigger dump that the 200 daily maybe at the beginning is gonna save us and if and once we're gonna reach this level down here we also have to see where the RSI is lining up because the RSI is still around the 50 level so in theory here we have a lot of room left to the downside so if we're gonna reach here the 200 daily moving average and we are in very oversold condition then yes I think then we will see a big bounce from it but in case that the RSI is still floating around this area and we're already at the 200 daily moving average that could signal that we have a lot of room left uh, to the downside and the 200 daily was not the bottom so that means that we most likely also going to continue the downwards movement and test here the $7,200 area potentially even go to the 0 0.618 here at $6,400 dollar this is what i think could happen if we're gonna drop uh, below the 200 daily moving average and here in the bollinger band also you can see that we got rejected currently from the middle line here at 9140 we will need to close at least here above 9140 in the daily and also close above 9300 in order to start to trade here in the upper area and up and see a possible test here of 9700 to 10000 dollar again yesterday we had a bearish close below 9100 this is what I was telling you yesterday if we're gonna close below 9170 then prepare for a major move to the downside and I think this is still in play that we're gonna see a potential move towards uh, 8700 to 8600 pretty soon and also the MACD still shifted to the downside so basically from the one hour time frame till the daily time frame I am now more bearish than bullish it looks like that we could be in here for a possible lower 8k area move and test those regions again that doesn't mean that for the long term Bitcoin is going lower and lower this is just a healthy retracement and also if we go over to the weekly time frame you can see that it's very likely that we will see those price levels again after such a big move that we had since March that we're gonna have a little retracement back down to test again a support area and then bounce from it and break this potential heavy resistance here at around 10,500 that we're having currently also here you can see that the stochastic were overbought so it is likely that here we have to first cool off a bit here bring it maybe to oversold condition retest the 20 weekly moving average maybe even week below here and maybe test it a 0.618 or the 0.5 fib line which is lining up also at seven thousand two hundred dollar after such a big move i think it is very healthy if we're gonna retrace back down the important thing is only that we're not gonna create lower lows like we had in march so as long as we're staying here between this four thousand dollar and this ten thousand dollar we are still on the way here to our target of new all-time highs so everything is still okay only if bitcoin is starting to create lower lows so if we're gonna take here this three thousand nine hundred dollar then things would change also for the long term i think but even the crash in march didn't bring the bitcoin to make lower lows so we created in theory here a higher low compared to the low that we had in 2018 of three thousand one hundred dollar so this is very bullish and for the long term everything is still okay and we should look for a bright future my friends and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to participate to the $10 Bitcoin giveaway that is running over on the BitYard uh, video. The video is popping up at the end of this video, so make sure to subscribe because later today or tomorrow we're gonna select the winner and this giveaway we're gonna do every week. So make sure to subscribe here to the channel, Alessandro the Crypto. Also over on Twitch, you find the link down below here because I'm doing this uh, uh, Bitcoin giveaway videos on the live stream and then put it here on YouTube. So if you want to watch it live, then make sure to join the Twitch channel. The link is down below here in the video description. And also you're very welcome to join our free Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free. Everyone is welcome. 
And if you need any kind of trading account like the one on Bybit, you find the link here to sign up. If you need an account, you can get $90 rewards on Bybit. And I recommend you also Bityard if you want to trade with the leverage. And here you can trade with your tether. So here you don't have to own the coins to trade. You can go long, you can go short here just with tether. So you don't have to own the coins. Very easy if you have parked some tether on the sideline and you want to trade with it because here you can get a lot of uh, bonuses here you can get up to 258 dollar bonus especially if you're trading with high volume and of course buy bit if you want to use your cryptos bitcoin ethereum eos or xrp to trade with you can go long and short with all these cryptos here i very recommend you buy bit this is in my opinion the best exchange to trade with leverage so thank you very much for watching guys and we see us all in the next one bye